Good morning, everybody, and happy... It's Thursday. <laughs> friends it is 4 51 a.m and i've really been up since three i finished reading um the mother-in-law i read it in three days it was really really good i kind of predicted it about three quarters of the way through i kind of knew how it was going to end um, but still really good it was a very nice read um i enjoyed it and i'm going to start wild game um, which i'm super excited it's about like a relationship um and the trials and tribulations of a mother-daughter relationship so i'm really excited to dive into that i'm keeping the camera for my glasses down because the hair <laughs> it's a mess um but yeah steven is clearly still in bed as most humans are but i just cannot sleep in you all might already know this but i found an app called Broadway HD, it's $8.99 a month, but you get seven days free, and it has musicals and plays, and um, I am so excited about it. Broadway classics. So here's just a sampling of what there is. So I am pumped about this, and I totally am going to watch some of these today. I mean, this is exciting stuff. I mean, it has everything. But I wanted to share it with you. So there's plays, there's musicals, there's just like a little bit of everything. And it's better than watching, well, it's not better, but it's different than watching like a normal TV show. Um, so I'm actually really excited about these. I wanna see what the... See what plays they have. Oh, so they have like tons of plays even. This is really, really awesome. For $8.99 a month, especially with us all being stuck at home, you can have a night at the theater. I had to share that with you. So I am just making myself some breakfast. Um, I have three eggs. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And I'm just gonna make frittatas in my Brava oven. And I'm just gonna do some spinach and Parmesan cheese, cause that's what I have on hand. And I really don't wanna waste anything. I'm just gonna put a couple of leaves of spinach in each of these little pods. I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese to each one. Right. And now I'm just gonna pour my egg in. So I have done frittatas before. So this just shows that I have four frittatas. The default's fine. I need to put it in the top tray. We actually have our toaster oven tray in there right now. So I'm just gonna slide this carefully. In the top tray, close it. Um, four frittatas, press the green button. And it will let me know when they're done. It says about nine minutes and 30 seconds. And you can actually see them right on screen. What I love is that there's no glass front, so it doesn't look messy and dirty, but. All right, I'll have some frittatas and then I might make some toast as well to go with them. All right, so it's done. Go ahead and open this up, pull out. Look at those, look how beautiful they are. All right, so those look perfectly cooked. While those are resting, I'm gonna get a plate. I have some cold pressed orange juice. I took my vitamins, but still my apple cider capsules to take. So I'm gonna take those really quick. And then we're gonna eat breakfast this morning. So in a couple minutes, I was able to make my toast and my eggs. It took about 13 minutes total. Plus I have two that I can use tomorrow for breakfast. So that's my breakfast this morning. I am just wrapping up some work for the morning. Um, like I've been telling you, I've had my day planned out every single day. Um, so this was my plan for today. As you can see, I had like huge chunks of work to do 
oh my gosh, I need a haircut so bad. Um, so I've kind of was feeling a little bit of anxiety this morning. So I just dove into work and it really helped like ground me to like do things that I normally would always do. But I basically have worked for the last four hours and got a lot done, um, which feels really good. I also have kind of separated, you guys know I have an office upstairs. Um, that's where I like edit, also where I do yoga. So it's kind of like a more peaceful, zen, fun work office. I've decided to like, for work work, I am kind of set up shop in the dining room just because I think I need the difference between the two spaces. I need to keep them a little bit separated. Um, so I've been working here. Um, I had work on my schedule for later today after lunch, yoga, and a walk. However, I'm so caught up unless something comes in. I don't really have a lot more to do. It's interesting because I'm like in four hours at home of straight work, I'm getting as much as I get done in eight hours because I just get interrupted or like sidetracked so much more at work. So it's been very interesting to see how much I can get done without a distraction. But, um, yeah, I think for my anxiety today, uh, just diving into work and keeping myself really occupied has been extremely helpful. Um, I'm telling you, my friends, please, 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 I think the thing that is keeping me the most sane in all of this is being so planned and organized with my time. Because I think if you have time wasted, you end up like dwelling on things or overthinking things and... Um, actually it becomes a detriment to you. So I've literally been planning out hour to hour every day. Uh, and it's been so incredibly helpful. Another thing that I thought I'd share, and I'm sure so many of you have already seen this, but it is something that I'm finding so much comfort in. And I just, I'll read it to you because I just think it's so incredibly powerful. It says, and that people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being and were still and listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows and the people began to think differently and the people healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, mindless and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new choices and dream new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed by Kitty O'Meara. I have found so much comfort in that quote. I really, really believe that on the other side of this, it's going to be better. I really do. I really, really, really do. And in the meantime, I'm going to do every ounce that I can to help others and to spread kindness and positivity and light and joy. Um, so if this is the first time you're watching, every ounce of money I make on the videos and from my merch shop, I'm going to donate. And um, Stephen and I were talking and I think I'm going to give it to the American Red Cross. Also find times to laugh. If you follow me on Instagram, I will post something serious, but then I'll also post something silly and fun because it's so important that we continue to laugh and um, just find joyful moments. It, it's so important. Laughter is so important. I also thought I'd share um, what I did in my journal today. I actually saw on a Facebook post and it was a chart three ways and it says, I am lucky because I... And one column is for can, am, and have. So I'm lucky because I can, mm. I'm lucky because I am, mm. And I'm lucky because I have, mm. Uh, and it really was a really great practice of gratitude, which I think is super important right now that we all, all practice. All right, Stephen took Bubba's for a walk. He worked a little bit this morning um, and decided that he wanted to take Bubba's outside for a walk, which I think is a great idea. I am going to break now that it is 12, 18. Um, I'm not really hungry right now for lunch. My breakfast is still holding me over, but I think I might go upstairs and do some yoga. So, 
Today's a weirder day. Today feels a little funky to me, but we're getting through it. We're being productive and we're getting through so, I have not filmed a lot today. I got a delivery. Your wait time may be longer due to higher than I got a delivery from Nordstrom. Um, I ordered a large diptyque candle, like the huge candle. And look at this. It is literally just shattered pieces of glass. I, I don't even know what to do. So I'm on the phone with them right now, awaiting someone to answer me. I feel so ridiculous for like complaining about the candle, but I mean, I don't think it's about the candle. Today I've been like in a little bit of a funk and I've tried to be like super gentle with myself and just take like a very calming walk today instead of a crazy workout, listen to mellow music and just like keep myself busy. But like, <laughs> I think that candle symbolized like how frustrated and like, like overwhelmed I am. It was just, I don't know. It's not about the candle. It's a first world problem. It's a ridiculously expensive candle that I was excited to get, but by no means need. And it just really made me angry. And I don't get angry about stuff like that. And I need to step back and I need to remember like, I'm so blessed. I'm blessed that I could buy the candle. I'm blessed to have a house to put the candle in. I am so fortunate and so lucky and this is not an issue and my family is safe and my family is healthy and I'm full of gratitude but like today I just feel like is not my day and I think it would be easy for me to film and be like everything is wonderful oh, da, da, da. and I'm just I'm like in a funk today and it's okay my friends and I think on those days you've got to be gentle with yourself you've got to just allow yourself to feel it a little bit. I think if you let yourself feel it, you can move on quicker. If you try to suppress it all day or over a long period of time, it will manifest itself in some form. Um, so I'm just allowing myself to feel a little irritated today um, and a little overwhelmed. I, I don't know, but I do know rooting myself in gratitude, reminding myself of how blessed I am. Like, none of this is about the candle. And so much of our frustration when we do get frustrated is never really about the thing that just happened, that you're blaming it on. It's always something else. I just, I don't know. I think working from home is, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to navigate it. And my job requires me to be a lot of things to a lot of people. And I feel like I can't do that. So like, that feels a little overwhelming. Um, yeah, today just has not been my day. The lady at the Nordstrom customer service was very kind, but there are no more in stock, so I'm going to return it. Um, and that's that. Oh, so excited to get it today. All right, this is not a great vlog because I just feel like being in a little bit of a funk, I've like filmed absolutely nothing for any of you. So some social distancing days will just be like this. I am blessed, I am lucky, I am favored, I am safe, I am healthy. I was feeling a little bit in a funk earlier and I just finished doing an Instagram live, which I'm going to do more often and it really helped my mood. I think I love to have interactions with people and maybe part of my funk was just craving interaction. Danielle and I actually uh, Instagram live together. It's a lot of fun. Um, but now it's like 4.10. I've not done a whole lot today, and that's okay. Some of these days gotta be easy and breezy, and you need to take care of your mental health and relax a little bit. Um, but we're gonna make a peanut sauce together. Now, what I do recognize is that a bunch of you are going to ask me 
for measurements. And I'm gonna have to tell you, I don't know, because I don't measure. So, I'm gonna start <laughs> with two huge spoonfuls of peanut butter. I use crunchy, you could use creamy. Um, I like the crunchy just because I like the texture of it. And now I lied to you already, because I added a third. Um, and then you just make it up. <laughs> um, I know that's so helpful to so many of you, but it's truly what I do. As you can see, I have no recipe in front of me. I make this sauce often, and I make it up every single time. And I just taste it. I'll usually get like a piece of celery or some carrots and just keep trying it until it tastes not disgusting. Not that it's disgusting, it's actually very good. So I'm gonna add, I don't know, some soy sauce. I'm gonna add a splash of rice vinegar. I'm going to add some ginger. And here's the thing, you just have to take your time with this. The rice vinegar and the soy sauce will eventually break down the um, peanut butter. You just, if you start stirring it like a crazy person though, right off the bat, you're gonna have a mess on your hands. Then you need to add some honey. In this cup is just a little bit of hot water. This will just help thin out the sauce a little bit. That was a horrible cup to put it in. I literally added a speck. I'm gonna cover this because I'll add it to the broccoli and the chicken. I'm just gonna throw it over rice and sprinkle some black sesame seeds on top. Dinner is done. All right, my friends. So I am going to start making dinner and pour myself a glass of wine. Um, and I'm going to sign off here because this vlog can be simple because some of these days just have to be. I think today what I'd want you to take away from the video is if you're feeling a little out of sorts, don't force yourself to fix it. Allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to live in that moment because you're not doing yourself any good by trying to just cover it up and keep plugging away because you just pound through your to-do list. Feel it, absorb it, and then root yourself in gratitude again to help you pull yourself out of it. Um, that's my lesson for today. I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.